Yvonne Sharp, and I work at the Mamie George Library in Stafford. Uh, Fourth of July is coming up, and we're going to have going to want something nice to put on our porch. Uh, something that's simple and easy to make for the kids. Um, I've got here a patriotic wind catcher, and we're going to be making that today. Okay, so some of the supplies you're going to need for this patriotic wind catcher are two paper plates, a star, or you can draw on the star, of course a pencil. You need red and blue uh, paint with a paintbrush, scissors, hole punch, and then some sort of twine or ribbon, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your paper plate and you're going to cut out your star. So you can either freehand a star or you can just trace the star that you have. And then once you've cut it out, then you're going to take your blue paint and you're going to paint your star blue. Okay? While that's dry, you're going to put that on the side. And then now we're going to focus on the red, white, and the red and white uh, part of the plate. So we're going to take another paper plate and we're going to just uh, paint, paint it with red stripes. Um, if your plate is already white, you don't need uh, white paint, you just need the red paint. But if your, paint, if your paper plate is a different color, then you're going to need white and red. Okay? So once that's done and this is all dry, then you're going to take your hole punch. And you're going to punch a hole at the top of the star and then the bottom of the star. Okay? And that's what you're going to use to hang your star onto your plate. Okay, so that's all done. Then you're going to take your plate that's been drying. Once it's all dry, you're going to start at the bottom of the plate, actually the edge part of the plate. See it right here? I'm going to take it and I'm going to start cutting. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut around the plate in a circle. Because that is what's going to give you the twirly-whirly effect that you need for your wind catcher. Okay? Just keep cutting like that until you get to the end, which is the fat part right here. Okay? See, and then we have our twirly part of our plate. Okay? Then you're going to take your hole punch and you're going to place another hole in the middle of the fat part. Right there. You see that? Right there. This is what our plate looks like. And then when you cut from the edge, then you're going to put a hole right there in the middle. Okay? Once that's done, then you're going to need your twine. You can use your ribbon. You can use just twine. You can use fishing line too. If you want it to look like it's hovering and it's invisible, you can use that also. So we're going to take it and we're going to need up at the top of our star where we need the hole punch. We're going to need a little place for our hanger, okay? So you're just right here. You're going to take it and you're going to tie that off right there at the top, okay? So that's our little hanger. And then now we need to attach the star to our whirly twirly red and white plate. We'll cut off another piece. We'll put that down at the bottom. And that's what we're going to use to attach, right here to the bottom. And you can make this as long as you want it, as short as you want. It's all up to you. Okay? I even think that this would be a fun idea um, to do in other colors. So you don't even have to do it for just 4th of July. Okay? So once that's on there, it's all set to go, ready to hang on your porch for 4th of July. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us for some of our other programs. Thank you.